Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Review. Let's take a look at a legend today, and he goes by the name of Butragueno. So, he's a Spanish legend, 90 rated striker, with some pretty impressive stats. 91 pace, 87 dribbling, and 88 shooting. He's quite small, being 5 foot 7, medium low work rates, right footed, with average 3 star skill moves, but a nice 4 star weak foot. So moving on in then to a couple of different squads that you might find him in. Uh, the first one here is a bit of a mix where he plays in a two-striker formation with a target man as his duo uh, in Player of the Month, Harry Kane. Featuring some Bundesliga and some Premier League and some Serie A players as well. But I actually used him as a lone striker in this 4-3-3 fourth variant La Liga side. Features lots of different players including the hero Sergio Roberto and the SBC Luis Suarez. And he was a very, very good striker in this team. Moving on in to his in-game stats. They're pretty impressive, of course. Being a 90-rated legend, you would expect that. On basic chemistry style, we can get him up to 97 acceleration, 95 attack positioning, and that all-important 99 finishing. But I decided to go down the route of the finisher chemistry style today. Pretty happy with the uh, overall 91 pace and the 87 dribbling. I thought, why not try and boost that shooting and his physical? Uh, and we managed to get him up to the likes of 70 strength, which might just about make all the difference for such a small player. Well, that's what I'd hoped anyway. But unfortunately for me, I still found Butragueno to be a very weak player. And it was to be expected. His height is also a bit of a, a negative to me, you know, only being 5'7 rules out any possibility of uh, aerial battles, you know, he's not going to win headers. Yeah. I did actually score one from a corner, but he was completely unmarked and free in the box, and that's about the only time you're ever going to see this guy uh, score a goal with his head. Other than that, you can't really whip the ball up to him from a goal kick, and that's why I gave you an option of a squad with a second striker being a bit of a target man. That might be a great option and a great way to go when using this player. His skill moves were also uh, another slight negative, really. Three star means that you're lacking a little bit in the attack. Uh, I've, I've said it time and time again. That I, I find some of the chops and spins this year to be very important. Especially the Berber spin seems to give me lots and lots of space. And, of course, you can't do that with Butragueno. There was that header, by the way. And, as you can see, completely and utterly in a lot of space on his own. But those are the negatives out of the way. And they're kind of to be expected ones as well. Let's move on to the positives because I I was tweeting whilst using this player quite a bit and I haven't used a, a god tier like clinical striker like this for a little while now. He was a little bit next level compared to some of the strikers I've been using lately. The first thing you obviously notice is that Butragueno is an incredibly quick striker. That 91 pace in game felt very, very quick. You know, he's super, super fast off the mark, and then he, he pulls through with great sprint speed also. Um, and then, positioning-wise, one of the better legends in that category. You know, right up there, on that last shoulder of the defender, ready to make a run, because, of course, that's what he's all about, using that pace, getting past that last defender, being one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, and slotting the ball into the back of the net. Uh, his dribbling is also superb. As I showed you earlier, I didn't actually boost it with a chemistry style. I just used it with the 87 that is on his item itself. And I was really impressed. Um, he LTRTs with the ball very, very well. And no touch dribbling is useful too. Uh, center of gravity and agility and balance. Those are some stats that are impressive with Butragueno. Because he's only 5'7", of course, he has a very low centre of gravity, which means that he's likely to keep on the uh, keep on his feet, you know, not fall to the ground, which is great. And then, of course, he's nice and agile, so wiggling in and out of those defenders, especially with such a nice high dribbling stat, is very, very easy for the Spaniard. His stamina was pretty impressive. Uh, In-game, it's actually around 82, which isn't the best. And actually, I normally find legends to have pretty poor stamina. But I was impressed with Butragueno because even into the latter stages of the game, he seemed to be able to hold his own. He still felt nice and quick. And I didn't have any problems of running out of fuel with him. So that's obviously a great thing as well. But what you really like about this Spaniard is his ability to stick the ball in the back of the net. 
I averaged, and I'm not joking here, I averaged a hat trick a game, which is unrivaled by a lot. I haven't scored that many goals for a very, very long time. Uh, he just seemed to be the guy in the right place, and I had a great team around him, feeding him the ball, and he just doesn't miss. An extremely clinical striker that can score from range or from inside of the box. I definitely recommend him. 500,000 coins is what I paid, and I think that's a great price for this 90-rated legend striker. Let me know if you've used him and what you think of him down below in the comment section. And don't forget, of course, every now and again, you'll be able to pick him up in the foot draft game mode and give him a test out there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.